still very interesting part is the fact that we can take a piece that will be easily played on a saxophone or a, trump or a trumpet or a trombone and we'd play it and it sounds just as good with a less conventional instrument. Titi's by. I locked one of our members, Carlton Goetz, in the trailer at the back. Um, he's extremely claustrophobic, so he kind of had a fanny wobble. And when I let him out, he chased me up the whole dune. My funny memory of Steel Band is when Reese lost all our music, he left it on, on the bus as we got to a gig. And so that whole gig, we didn't have music. But every time we passed Muscle by where the bus went back to, we always asked Reese to go fetch our music. Brother. He, he, was, he was in the senior steel band when I, when I was in grade 8, so he kind of introduced it to me and then got me, got me started, so that's how I gradually grew into playing steel band. I came from junior school to high school with a group of friends and as a group we said we'd enjoy in steel band, something to keep together. My favourite thing about steel band would probably be the bond we have with the band, and we've played together since grade 8 and especially the bond we have with Keenan, our instructor. It's definitely something special that you don't see in many other school activities. basically a love child made out of necessity because everyone in the steel band was in music and we hadn't been we hadn't been able to create a successful junior band in the three years that we had tried and so if we didn't create the junior steel band in grade 8 then there would be no steel band. It was the first time that I've ever experienced calling an audition. Well we didn't call an audition, we said anybody that wants to be in steel band in grade 8. I, just, I, I thought to myself let's start at in grade 8 because then at least they have five years. And I mean, anybody else that wanted to come back, see who came, if he was in grade 9 at the time, he wanted to play. I think a couple of grade 10s and 11s came, but they slowly dropped out. But the, my main focus was on grade 8, I thought that that would be the best way. I called them in and there was 60 boys at 10. And I think I had, as a senior seal band of that time in the Matrix, we all decided we were all going to teach. Obviously I would be the main one, but everybody else would break up into little sections and teach, take each little boy. I remember seeing 60 people come in and being like, yeah, okay. So um, immediately what I did was that Mr. Richardson said that you're not allowed to kick anybody out of Steven. So I had to have every single boy in, in Steven. I saw who could play, who got the rhythm quite quickly. And then because it was 60 of them, I thought, okay, why don't we split up into two bands? And so I split, we split up into two bands and one, because I, didn't, I don't like saying A, B, one and two because it just shows that one's better than the other so I said you guys will be the jelly tots and you guys will be the smarties and all the senior band were in the jelly tots except for Reese, Reese Martin was the only one that wasn't in the jelly tots but then I moved him over because he's twin brother was in. My hopes for Grahamstown tour is just to actually fully experience it and have a good time and perform to the level that I think that we should be able to perform. My funny story would probably be I think it was in grade 9 when tension between one Judd Bevan and Andrew Nichols was rather high and a little dispute broke out and some almost got beat up. One time uh, one of our band members, or two of our band members got into a fight and uh, <laughs> the, one got, the one got quite upset and decided to go sulk on top of the steps, the, um, the spiral, on top of the spiral staircase and started warning his eyes out. It's a bit like a, it's a bit like a family, and um, there's moments when there's a, a lot of stress and a lot of pressure and lots of fights. We've had lots of fights, and if you come to our practices, you you know that we have lots of fights. And I get into a very big mood, um, 
but there are also a lot, a lot of good times. Um, it's just, it's just, it's a very, it's a very safe place at the, this point in time because we've been working together for so long and we all know each other so well. It's just, it's conducting them and teaching them is, it's more like a mentorship and it's more like a collaboration. I first saw the steel band when I was in grade five or six. Um, I saw the high school still band and then at open days and at rugby I've seen them and then the moment I started grade 8 I knew about getting anywhere with the culture because kids aren't being able to get their own And then I'd say try to try to say something different with the band. You know, when you with your band, obviously start on the basics and they are as much as people think it's just hitting hitting notes, they are specific there are a little bit of basics that you need to understand the way you hit the note, how you hold your stick, um, your body posture, the way your body feels, they impact the sound that you you, you, you get. That's not really what we want to focus on in my opinion. It's really focus on why why you want to play silver. And then try to say have a unique voice in it. Don't try to don't just cookie cut yourself. Um, try to just say something different with your with the music and be artistic about it because there's just so many venues for, for steelbed and there's so many um, ways steelbed can be communicated that it would be pretty if everybody just sounded the same. And even that, that's what I do with the, the five different bands. I try to cater to the band. Make sure that each band has their own little unique quality about them that makes things different from each other because music's not music by numbers. I mean, that's, that's not what we want. Music's an expression and it's a, it's a perspective. And you have to be able to express that perspective much. Just, enjoy playing it and enjoy being in the moment and then your audience will respond to that. 